In the last 10 years, the United States has averaged more than a thousand tornadoes per year. Canada is in a distant second with about a hundred per year. So why does the United States get so many tornadoes? I'm meteorologist Jason Myers and every continent in the world has gotten tornadoes except for Antarctica. It's just that the United States has prime real estate for tornado development. Tornadoes most commonly form in the mid-latitudes. Outside of the United States and Canada, other tornado hotspots include Argentina and Uruguay in South America, South Africa, as well as Australia and New Zealand round out the Southern Hemisphere, the Philippines, Japan, Eastern China, Western Asia, and most of Europe also have an increased risk of tornadoes. Quick side note, the United Kingdom actually has more tornadoes per square mile than any other country. Fortunately, most of those tornadoes are relatively weak and still fairly rare. Other than their latitude, what else do these places have in common though? Huh? They all have a source of warm, moist air colliding with cool, dry air. Two ingredients necessary for thunderstorm and eventually tornado development. The United States just has two geographical features that happen to offer an ample supply of these items. The Gulf of Mexico and the Rocky Mountains. Stuck in between, we have the Central Plains, also known as Tornado Alley. Warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico can easily move into the region. At the same time, cool, dry air that's been locked up in the Rocky Mountains slides into the plains. Add a lifting mechanism like a front and a little wind shear, that is winds moving at different directions and different speeds throughout different levels of the atmosphere, and we have everything we need for a tornadic supercell storm. Thankfully, around 77% of all tornadoes are in the weak EF0, EF1 categories. 95% of tornadoes fall below the violent EF3 ranking, and only 0.1% of tornadoes will reach that destructive EF5 status. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel on YouTube and go to the comments section. Let me know if you've seen a tornado or if you'd like to see a tornado.